a playground classic, a wartime breakfast bev, and America's favorite food wonder. These budget buys might be easy on your wallet, but could they spell disaster for your health? Frozen produce has long suffered under the stigma of being an unhealthier option compared to fresh produce. This is, however, a very inaccurate judgment that we're going to clear up right now. While it is true that frozen produce may lose some nutrients when packaged, this is also the case when cooking fresh fruits and vegetables. In fact, studies reportedly show that when packaged properly and under the right conditions, the nutritional value of frozen produce can be just as high, if not higher, than fresh produce. The Eat Right organization also really sings the praises of frozen produce specifically. According to them, produce is often picked at peak ripeness and then immediately flash frozen, which not only preserves the flavor, but also all of the nutrients. Of course, a major advantage to frozen produce over fresh is the significantly lower price point, but there are even more benefits to reaching for the frozen produce. When stored correctly, the fruits and vegetables tend to last a lot longer than their fresh counterparts which means less money wasted on spoiled produce, and eating more berries and greens at their peak performance. One thing to note, make sure to always check the nutrition label, as some frozen fruits and vegetables contain added sugars, salts, or even sauces that counteract the otherwise healthy properties of the veggies themselves. Sorry, grilled cheese lovers. And honestly, who doesn't love a grilled cheese right out of the pan? Or, you know, whatever you happen to have handy. A comfort food classic. The grilled cheese is two great things, ooey and gooey. With its buttered bread slices and the melted cheese that drips out from between them, this sandwich has a special place in our hearts and our stomachs. Grilled cheese often begs us to sit down and enjoy, but also begs the question, can it be a healthy indulgence as well? As SFGate ruefully notes, unfortunately not. It's pointing out the obvious to say that bread, butter, and cheese do not make a light or healthy meal. Grilled cheese is also nutritionally poor and usually made with ingredients brimming with preservatives and sugar. The good news is that grilled cheese made at home can be modified with a few slightly healthier but still yummy alternatives, like whole wheat bread or low-calorie cheese. Still, those ingredients can put you above a budget, which makes grilled cheese a no-go. Some cultures are defined by their relationship to cheese. The first thought that may come with popcorn is of heaps and heaps of butter and salt. But this snack has a lot of potential to be a cheap and healthy option. Making popcorn at home is the best way to reap all the goodness without any of the damage. By preparing the snack by yourself, particularly using an air popper, it's possible to control the ingredients and thus the ratio of fat and salt going into the snack, even as opposed to the stuff in the bag. Mm. Oh, the popcorn. In the WebMD even claims that popcorn may even have some health benefits. Corn is a whole grain, so technically, popcorn can be a whole grain snack that contributes to a lower risk of heart disease, diabetes, and hypertension. According to the American Heart Association, popcorn may be perfect for adding a nutritional boost to your diet. Popcorn is also a low-density snack, which means a lot can be eaten to meet the calorie budget leaving the snacker feeling all the more satisfied and full. Frozen pizza may beckon seductively from the freezer aisle, but you should try to resist the urge as much as you can. They never look as good as the picture on the box, are often mushy, and burn easily. Like most frozen foods, frozen pizza was made for convenience. Originally concocted in the period following World War II, the frozen pizza was perfected to provide an easy meal for a busy society and has since grown to warrant its own section in the grocery store. But contemporary frozen pizza is something to be wary of. The price and convenience may not outweigh the health risks. Frozen pizzas are more often than not calorie-dense with little nutritional value. They are also routinely packed with too much salt. And as the American Heart Association says, too much salt can contribute to high blood pressure, heart disease, and a range of other health complications. Harry, I don't have time to make pizza. Did I say anything about making pizza? It's frozen. See? Oh, sweet oatmeal. Pioneer food, breakfast staple, and simple comfort dish. While oatmeal may be a no-thrills meal option, it's a sturdy choice that's sure to have your back on whatever budget. Although oatmeal might be well-situated in the American culinary landscape, it actually traces its roots back to China and was first popularized in ancient Greece. Oatmeal can be served hot or cold, 
with milled, steel-cut, or rolled oats. Water or milk can both be used to whip up a nice bowl of oatmeal, and from there, the topping possibilities, both sweet and savory, are pretty much endless. In other words, there are a lot of ways to make a bowl of oatmeal. Time credits oatmeal's popularity throughout history and around the world for the dish's insanely low price point and its health benefits. Oatmeal in any form makes for a well-balanced meal because it's whole grain, gluten-free, potentially anti-inflammatory, and very filling. Really, the only challenge with oatmeal is in keeping it healthy by not piling too much sugar and unhealthy toppings when adding much-needed flavor to the otherwise bland dish. Cheap eating and instant ramen simply go hand in hand. Long has a boiling pot of instant noodles been the crown jewel in a low-budget diet. What college student has adopted for some instant noodles over whatever the heck that they're serving in the cafeteria? It's hard not to love these flavorful noodles. They're dirt cheap and have a seemingly endless spectrum of flavors. Instant ramen was first developed in Japan in the 1950s in the aftermath of a world war and nuclear fallout. The noodles quickly grew in popularity as cheap instant noodle recipes were perfected and circulated around, eventually spreading all over the world. However, while instant ramen is prized for its low price point, quick convenience, and craveable flavors, its nutritional content leaves much to be desired. Instant ramen noodles are often completely deficient in any sort of nutrient, ridden with an ungodly amount of sodium and full of preservatives. Simply put, the price doesn't justify the real cost. Though convenient and tasty, it's best to look elsewhere for the next budget-friendly fixing. Not just a playground classic, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich is an American standard that could do well in the grown-up world. However, the health value of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich isn't precisely straightforward, and the traditional Sammies have a few major health pitfalls. Processed white bread, preservative-laden peanut butter, and sugary jam can do more harm than good. Those sorts of PB&Js are more likely to give you a sugar crash than anything else. But elevating the PB&J with a few modifications puts it on track as an economically viable and healthful dish. With whole grain bread, natural peanut butter, and low sugar jelly, this classic won't just feed, it will nourish. White bread is, surprise surprise, an American concoction. It was first born in the 1800s out of concern rather than luxury, as food makers had understandable concerns surrounding food safety. White bread, an extremely processed food, was first made to provide a bacteria-free bread option. It has since become a cornerstone of the American diet and a facet of pop culture. You want chicken wings or chicken legs? Four fried chickens and a Coke. And some dry white toast, please. There's a reason it endures. It's affordable, convenient, and the perfect platform for bolder flavors. So what really is the damage when it comes to white bread? Livestrong takes a hard stance against white bread. It says that the aforementioned factors just simply aren't enough to make white bread a good food health-wise. In fact, there's a whole slew of strikes against the bread. It can lead to excess weight gain, specifically around the belly regions, cause cavities, worsen your mood, and affect the liver negatively. That's certainly a lot of damage from a slice of bread. Is the cheap bread really worth the momentary joy when followed with such a long list of complications? On the meatier side of American cuisine, pork has historically not been as popular as poultry or beef. But in post-recession America, pork has seen an uptick in popularity, namely through fast food, growth in specific Asian food sectors, and with the surging popularity of smoked meats, including favorites like pulled pork. You don't need to invest the time, effort, and cash in a barbecue operation for there to be a good reason to think of bringing home the bacon. Pork is often cheaper in comparison to beef. WebMD dismisses criticisms of pork chops being unhealthy with the mantra, everything in moderation. For budget-oriented diets, pork can be a good and versatile source of protein, as well as iron and vitamins B12 and B6. Of course, there are a few things to keep in mind when eating pork. Look for minimally processed and leaner cuts of meat, and be mindful of the high sodium and fat content that slices of pork may have. Orange juice may seem like a given at the breakfast table, but that wasn't always the case. Time ties the rise of orange juice, like many other contemporary foods, with the period surrounding World War II. Scientists trying to figure out how to deliver fighting troops a good supply of palatable vitamin C developed orange juice concentrate, which separated the liquid from the orange. 
The resulting product could be shipped all over, kept in the freezer, and still tasted fresh when prepared. Today, orange juice concentrate remains a cheap and refreshing option at the grocery store. But these days, it really is worth it to spring for the fresh stuff, if possible. For one, as noted by Livestrong, juice concentrates come from all over the world. This not only means a heavy carbon footprint, but questionable quality. And the point of juice is kind of the freshness, right? Research has shown that a considerable amount of popular juice concentrates contain a concerning level of heavy metals. If that wasn't concerning enough, juice concentrate contains all the sugar of juice with none of the beneficial pulp. There are better ways to get a sweet cup of OJ. Lentils can be a very important and very affordable source of protein. And according to One Green Planet, a single cup of lentils also contains 36% of daily recommended iron. Lentils not only exist in a wide spectrum of varieties and colors, but they are just as versatile in the kitchen. Lentils can be made into soups, pressed into patties or loaves, sprinkled onto salads, and so much more. And Tasting Table notes that once cooked, lentil water can be saved and repurposed into a broth. Who says budget meals have to be boring? Lentils are a healthy, economical choice for not just plant-based, but all financially oriented eaters. But there are a few things to keep in mind when making lentils at home. For one, it's advisable to buy lentils in bulk at the grocery store, as they tend to be fresher and cook better. Packaged lentils inversely sit on grocery shelves a lot longer, so they may be a bit older and take longer to cook. And be sure to always rinse your lentils before cooking them, as they may contain a layer of dust and dirt left over from being harvested. Who said budget meals have to be boring or unhealthy? With a little creativity, you can find some options out there that you'll be happy to serve your family. And better, that they'll be happy to eat.